Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just thought I would do this one as a bit of a comparison. Uh, they're pretty much in the same league, aren't they? A Volvo S80 and the Jaguar S Type. Pretty much the same year as a manufacturer. Um, well, this is me on the S80. I just thought I would let uh, people do a few comments on this one rather than me waffle on too much about them. You say what would you prefer? If you could have either one of these cars, what would it be and why? So they're both pretty much the same level of car, same size, same quality. I know a lot of people say there were a lot of Ford involved in them, but this car in particular, it's been slightly not looked after as much in the last few years, but this car's 1999 on a T, and it is absolutely immaculate underneath. Um, it's been garaged from new, and up, only a couple of years ago, it had something daft about like 30, I'm saying a couple of years ago, probably three or four years ago, it only had about 30,000 mile on. This is one car that was on my list that I really wanted, that's unfortunately never come up for sale. As you can see, it's it's not particularly, you know, looked after like what these cars should be. So obviously this is your three litre V6 S type. Early ones I find are better. I prefer the interiors a little bit. And this is your D5 diesel. Clearly they did these in all sorts of V6 engines. They did the T5, the T6. This is the D5, the diesel. They did the diesel in those, which was the. What was it again? It was the Citroen and Peugeot 2.7 V6 diesel, which was fitted to like the Land Rover Discoveries and the Range Rovers of the like. Not a very nice engine, don't like it. Um, much rather have the, the S-Type than the V6. So, they did a V8 as well in those. I'm sure they did a V8 in these. If uh, They did a 4.3 or a 4.4 or something like that in the S80. Uh, in my opinion, the S80, nice just a diesel one to waft, waft about in. Nice and powerful, loads of torque automatic as you can see you know i've i've given this a bit of a wash today but we'll have a look around the interiors on them first wait actually no we'll not we'll have a look under the bonnets on them obviously we're comparing petrol and diesel here so that's not a great deal i'll just wait i'll, I'll pause the video and open the bonnet so yeah, we're going the volvo we all know about this the 2.4 d5 five cylinder diesel producing about 160 to 170 brake horsepower but as we know you can tune these diesel engines up to quite large amount more than what they were produced with and get away without causing too much damage so this is a, it's an automatic as well it's your d5 across to the s type this is your three liter v6 uh as you'll see this engine quite often in the fords a very similar engine in the fords as well as the um x type which was based on the mondeo um, they did a 2.5 V6, horrible, really underpowered, 3 litre, which is really nice, this one. They do a 4 point something, I think it's a 4.2 V8. Then they do the mad one, the V8R, which is a supercharged V8, which are actually, in fairness, a really good car. But these do, unfortunately, suffer from a lot of rust underneath, if not looked after. Um, whereas the Volvos really don't suffer those problems, as you see there. Jaguar, 3 litre. Uh, these don't really suffer those issues but again they're two very different vehicles with the different engines in them you know this is your motorway cruiser 60 mile to the gallon which i actually did get the other day in it that is a nice refined petrol so you know different leagues different i, I really should have compared two petrols or two diesels but i don't have access to the amount of cars both factory fit sunroofs fortunately one tick against the volvo the sunroof doesn't work because why the alarm siren uh, has knackered in the runoff the same network and it stops the sunroof from working and it's got a broken passenger's window but these are all things i'm going to look look into so here's a bit of a look at the interior i'll we'll have a better look at the other side there's a the child seats in there there you go your typical swedish like a bit like a saab beautiful i must admit the seats in the volvos and the saabs are just second to none yeah rear ventilation not much beats the interior for comfort and quality in a volvo just even shutting this door is lovely that little clunky noise is actually the window mechanism in that massive boot child seat in there you know just loads of space nice little divider there which can pull out in all different directions you know, volvo one and triangle i love the back end of these in the s s60 it's even now how old is this car i was in three coming up what 18 year old I still think they're a nice looking car you know, look at this and this car's been used you know 116,000 mile genuine Volvo 
carpet, but with rubber underneath. So the, the moisture doesn't go through into your, your, the main carpets. You know, you've got your side protection system, zips, airbags, all over the place. If you're going to be in a crash, not that you ever want to be in a crash, but this is the car. I think you will come out okay. And again, side protection system, all electronically controlled seats, full electric windows, jump in. It's just a nice Volvo class. Oh, these seats are lovely. Lovely sound system. Heated seats. Electric folding mirrors. Alarms. Nice automatic gearbox. Goes really well with the D5 diesel. Dipped in mirror. Like I've said, sunroof, which I'm going to try and get sorted. The annoying thing is, there's nothing wrong with the sunroof. It's just it, it because this, the alarm siren's not good, it corrupts the signal to it. It's a shame, really. Um... So, you know, I'm going to keep this video as short as I can. There's your quality of Volvo. Turn them lights off, even though it's on. I hate this running light carry on with these. Um, so, yeah, there's your Volvo. Now we're going to have a quick look around the Jag. I would like to see some comments on this. Of what, uh, what, what would you rather have? This one, again, is a nice example, but, again, not been particularly looked after in the recent years. So you've got your electric seat on the passenger side. The leather is still very nice. You know, the, I much prefer these earlier ones to the later S types. You know, you've got all your nice kind of suede that you know, like material down there, so it doesn't mark on the door. Into the back again, as we have ventilation, but in the centre this time, chrome. Uh, so there's your interior, as you can see in the back, nice plush leather, same colour as the Volvo. Funny enough. You know, you've got... A, there's a few nice extras on this car for its age, actually. Boot. Not, it's got a much bigger open than the Volvo, but not quite as big. And not as deep. Um, but this has got a, you know, a proper Jaguar liner. This car was bought brand new from this, the, the same guy from Jag. Detachable tow bar. Parking sensors. I've already done a review of this car, if you want to watch it on my channel. Uh, there's a review of the Volvo as well, actually, from when I first bought it. Again... It's not much to see there. It's been kind of hammered a little bit there by the kids. Um, I'll jump into the driver's seat. Again, electric seats, electric mirror, windows, mirrors. We'll jump in. A weird place to have it right down there, but that's your electric folding mirrors, which, believe it or not, is an optional extra on one of these. Along with a lot of other things in here, like the voice-activated uh, climate control system. Again, automatic, Jaguar's J-Gate system on them. Um, again, a cassette. Remember, this car is a T-Reg in 1999. So that's what you got on them at the time. The only thing that was missing was a screen that used to be here, which was quite expensive, which would be seriously outdated now anyway, so you're better off without. But the Ford thing start coming in, you know. That's out of a Ford Mondeo. Let's just take the keys out. There's your Ford Transit key and your Ford Transit as anybody has an early transit, like a 2002, 2003 transit, you'll notice that. You know, it, it takes a shine off the Jag a little bit, I must admit. Um, but yeah, all the same as the Volvo. You've got your cruise control, as so, optional extra. Um, you've got your automatic lights, fog lights, all sorts, you know, like, they are full of tech, these things. But they're just a nice, classy, comfortable cruiser. Sunroof. Which works on this, but I ain't going to touch it just in case. Um, also, this has got the option of the rear folding blind at the back. I'll press that. I do like that. That is a nice bit of... Uh, nice bit of class there. The Volvo's got that, but it's a manual pull-up one. So there you go. There, it, now Obviously, all traction controls, sport mode and all the rest of it. So, you know, so... You was telling me, I do enough video on... And things like that. What would you have? They're both pretty much worth the same money. Uh, it's only got 60, 70,000 mile on that as well. Which uh, the miles are creeping up at the moment. So there you go. Two cars of the same class. What would you have? Leave a comment below. It'll be quite interesting to interact with a few of my viewers. I noticed there's not a great deal of commenting on the videos. It all helps my channel grow. So if there's anything you want to say, like them. The only thing is, don't hit the dislike button. Because you don't like one or either of the cars. Because it does affect me rating. So just, if you like it, like it. If you've got something negative to say about one of the cars, leave a comment. I probably agree with you on most of the stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.